Welcome back to the RAS ACS and Behind the Knife journal cast on landmark papers in surgery. I'm Michael Tonzi, a urology resident from the University of Tennessee College of Medicine at Chattanooga. I'll be presenting a study published in 2012 in the Journal of Colorectal Surgery entitled, A Prospective Study of Early Removal of the Urethral Catheter After Colorectal Surgery in Patients Having Epidural Analgesia as Part of the Enhanced Recovery After Surgery Program. Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, or ERAS, programs are an accepted standard of care in expediting patient recovery after major abdominal surgery. These protocols aim to withdraw IV fluids, avoid opiate-based pain management, advance diet early, and discontinue lines and catheters as soon as possible in order to hasten recovery. Following major abdominal surgery, persistent pain, gut dysfunction, and lack of mobility are all factors that limit recovery. Epidural analgesia has been utilized to minimize these issues. However, it can be associated with urinary retention. Urethral catheterization is routinely used in postoperative colorectal patients to monitor fluid balance and prevent urinary retention in patients with epidural analgesia. Efforts to hasten recovery as part of ERAS protocols have aimed at removing urethral catheters as early as possible to reduce discomfort, enhance mobility, and decrease the risk of urinary retention. The timing of catheter removal in patients with epidural analgesia remains controversial. This is a prospective, uncontrolled study of all patients undergoing elective colorectal resection between May 2007 and May 2012 as part of an ERAS protocol. Patients with epidural analgesia and urinary catheterization were included in the study. Epidural analgesia dosage, rate, and composition was standardized per study protocol. Exclusion criteria included patients with regional anesthetics such as tap blocks and patient-controlled analgesia pumps. ERAS protocol aimed to remove urethral catheters at 24 hours post-op. However, this was often delayed as clinically indicated to monitor urine output due to patient immobility, etc. Rates of urinary retention were compared between those who underwent voiding trial before discontinuation of their epidural against those who underwent voiding trial after discontinuation of their epidural. Subgroup analysis was performed on patients who underwent pelvic dissection, defined as surgery involving the ligation of the IMA or rectal dissection. 210 patients underwent colonic resection with epidural analgesia over the five-year study period. 118 patients underwent early catheter removal before cessation of the epidural analgesia. 91 patients underwent late catheter removal following cessation of the epidural analgesia. Overall, patient demographics were similar between the two groups. Patients in the early catheter removal group were more likely to have undergone laparoscopic surgery at 69% compared to 46% of patients in the late catheter removal group. The primary outcome of urinary retention was compared between those who underwent early trial without catheter versus late trial without catheter. Overall, 16 patients developed urinary retention and there was a significant difference between urinary retention rates between the early and late trial without catheter groups. 12% of those who underwent early trial without catheter developed urinary retention, compared to approximately 2% of those in the late trial without catheter group. Gender, laparoscopic versus open surgery, time of catheter removal within 24 or 48 hours of surgery, and pelvic dissection were also independently evaluated for their impact on urinary retention. None of these factors were significantly associated with urinary retention. This study found that early trial without catheter is associated with a significantly increased rate of urinary retention compared to late trial without catheter in patients undergoing colorectal surgery managed with epidural analgesia. Still, overall rates of urinary retention were low in patients with epidural analgesia, even in those who underwent early catheter removal, 
with 86% of these patients having no issues with urinary retention. It appears that in this population, male gender, pelvic dissection, and mode of surgery are not independent risk factors for postoperative urinary retention. Given the low rate of urinary retention observed in this study, early discontinuation of urethral catheterization, even in those still undergoing epidural analgesia, may be an appropriate component of the ERAS protocol, provided that close monitoring for subsequent urinary retention is performed. Strengths of this study include its prospective design, with data recorded in a formalized manner by a dedicated ERAS nurse, regarding procedure, gender, duration of epidural, duration of urethral catheterization, and rates of urinary retention. This study was able to assess the impact of potentially independent risk factors for urinary retention, including male gender, age, mode of surgery, and pelvic dissection. Additionally, the dose and compound of epidural analgesia was standardized for all patients. As in all cases, this study is not without its limitations. While prospective in nature, this is not a randomized control trial. Timing of urethral catheter removal was dictated by individual clinical scenarios on a case-to-case -case basis. This raises concerns for unaccounted variables, which could impact rates of urinary retention, such as anticholinergic medication or preoperative urinary function. Additionally, patients in the late catheter removal group may have had their catheters kept in longer due to clinician concern for potential development of urinary retention. Though this study was relatively high volume, it was performed at a single institution, which predisposes the study to intrinsic selection bias with limits in external validity. Lastly, urinary retention was not defined in the paper, and this may vary between clinicians. I'm Michael Tonzi, and this has been another presentation from the ACS Resident and Associate Society and Behind the Knife Journal Club. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me my email at michael.s.tonzi at gmail.com. Don't forget to review this content with the current This Week in SCORE modules, Acute Urinary Retention.